What's up, everybody? Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Today, we're going to compare and contrast monofilament fishing line with braided line. And I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of each, and hopefully that'll give you a better idea and understanding on what you need to do uh, when fishing for catfish. So let's go ahead and get started with this Tackle Talk episode. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is braided line. I'm going to give you a few pros and a few cons for using braided line when catfishing so you are more informed on it. Okay, the good the good thing about using braided line is the line diameter, meaning you can spool more braid on your reel. Okay? And that's a good thing when using braided line because you can spool more yards and not only that you can cast a lot further when using braided line so if you're fishing from the bank especially uh, if you want to get your baits out further maybe in the main channel or somewhere further out it's good for you to use braided line because you're going to get that long distance cast and like i said also you can hold more line on your reel Another reason why you want to use braided line is the longevity. This stuff will last you for years if taken care of. And the only time I've had to replace my braided line is from the break-offs I've had. But this stuff will last you many years. It's a trustworthy line that you don't have to easily replace as you do with monofilament. So I would definitely say longevity is definitely a plus. And the last reason why I use braid is a sensitivity especially when you are suspend drifting or if you're bottom bouncing on the bottom uh, you want to use braid because you'll have more control of where you're placing your bait and it's just it's very sensitive but you'll have more control when you're bouncing on the bottom whereas with monofilament it's not as sensitive as braid is but and that's the reason why many anglers use braided line when they're drifting suspend drifting and also bottom bouncing on the bottom so you'll have more sensitivity uh, from the line going up to your raw tip and you'll just be able to fully feel your bait hitting the bottom um, and that's a plus for sure okay so let's talk about the cons of braided line one of the cons of braided line is that it's not abrasion resistant meaning this stuff can easily break so if you're fishing near a lot of structure which for catfishing you know sometimes you'll have to fish around structure especially if you want to get a flathead or a blue a channel whatever and if you're using braided line and you get caught fishing around a log jam or whatever or you're fishing near tight structure braid can easily break which is why it's not really abrasion resistant. So that's one con of using braided line. Another con of using braided line is the price. This stuff is super expensive. And uh, this is 50 pound braided line, 110 yards, and it cost me like over $10. And I got this at Walmart. So whenever you're buying braided line, just know that you're gonna be spending about double the price of what you would pay for a monofilament. It's just how it is. But like I said, this will last you a while if you don't break off. And I would say for the last con of braided line is the spooling. If it's not spooled on correctly, it can easily come off the spool, which will just be a cluster mess for you. And that's the reason why a lot of anglers use like a mono filament backing when they put braided line on the reel. So if you're going to be using braided line, a lot of people will use a little bit of monofilament to start it and then they'll add their braided line. But that's just to kind of keep uh, everything smooth on the reel. So I would say that's kind of a disadvantage uh, is the spooling. If it's not done properly, it can easily come off the spool and essentially uh, it won't be as smooth for you. So, and those are the reasons, guys. Um, I'm not really 
big into braided line. Uh, I'm typically an anchor fisherman. I don't really do a whole lot of drifting. Um, but so my biggest reason why I don't use braid is because I don't like the fact that it doesn't stretch either. I feel like with monofilament, uh, which I'm going to get to here in a second, monofilament stretches, which is a good thing for me. I can feel the resistance better with the fish, but with braid, you don't really have that resistance. There's no uh, sort of stretch in the line. So it's just a different feel for me. Um, but like I said, there's different schools of thought on what people like and what they don't like. But hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of braided line. So try it out, see what you think. Now let's talk about monofilament. This is what I typically use. Uh, the pros of monofilament is that it is abrasion resistant, meaning uh, it's going to be harder for this line to break if you're fishing your structure, rocky bottoms. It can handle a lot of stuff. It can handle a big beating in a way when you're using monofilament. So it's going to be harder for this thing to break when you're fishing near heavy structure, which is a good thing when catfishing because, like I said before, when you're catfishing, you'll be fishing near structure, um, rocky bottoms, ledges, drop-offs, and just catfish are very attracted to structure. So that's the good thing for using monofilament when fishing near some heavy structure. And another pro for using monofilament is that it's cheap. Uh, it's going to be about half the price of what you would get when you spend for a braided line. Uh, typically, I buy 30, 40 to 50 pound monofilament line, which will cost me, I mean, this is trialing big game. It's like seven or eight dollars, but that's just because it's heavier line that I'm buying. But you can buy like 10 pound monofilament line for like five dollars. And there's different brands you can buy doesn't really matter a whole lot on the brand. Uh, some people swear to only get trialing. Some people swear only to use strin or whatever. But it's just, it's, it's completely up to you what you would want to buy. But I will say monofilament is cheaper, which is definitely a plus. And the last pro, like I've already said, is that it stretches. And that's a good thing when you're fishing for catfish. When the line stretches, you have more control and uh, fight with the fish. And that's good for me because I feel like I have more control fighting the fish than I do if I was using braid. So three things, like I said, that are pluses is that it's abrasion resistant, meaning that it's harder for the line to break. It's cheaper in price and uh, it stretches. Three, three pros. Now the three cons of monofilament line is that you won't be able to put a lot on your reel like you can with braid. You can spool a lot more line, but with monofilament you can as easy. It won't hold as much line as you would think. So understand that too. So make sure you know what kind of reel you're using so you know how much line you can fit on the spool. So I would definitely say that's one con of using monofilament line. Another con of using monofilament line is the memory. Okay, and a lot of anglers will say this if you talk to them, that the memory of monofilament is not that great. It makes it harder for you to cast when you're using monofilament line, which is why people use braided line. Uh, but if you're going to be using monofilament line just understand that you're not going to be able to cast as far as you would with braid and uh, another con of using monofilament line is the stretch even though for me personally the stretch is a plus but some people don't like the stretch because when you have more stretch in the line you'll have less sensitivity so it could be hard for you to discern uh, the subtle lighter bites, especially if a flathead may be on there. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit of awareness on the pros and cons of using monofilament and uh, braided line here. I'm going to go ahead and leave a poll at the top of this video and I want you to vote on whether you prefer monofilament or braided line. 
And guys, comment. I want to hear what you have to say about this, okay? I am no expert by no means on braided line or monofilament, okay? I just am telling you stuff based on my own personal experience. So if you have something you want to say, something that uh, can give more insight into this, just drop a comment. I'd like to hear what you have to say. And guys, that's going to conclude uh, today's Tackle Talk episode. Like I said, if you have any questions, you know, just leave a comment below. If you want to add to this video, drop a comment below. I'd like to hear from you. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. If you guys like that video, please be sure to check out the Catfish Tackle Talk playlist here on the Chat Cats Fishing Channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.